Joe Rogan was talking about Hamza Chimayev, that's what's next for him, but uh, it is confirmed that uh, Hamza Chimayev will be taking on Paulo Costa at UFC 294 in Abu Dhabi. It's a big fight for Hamza and for Paulo Costa as well. Paulo Costa and Hamza Chimayev hates each other and it is going to be fun to watch all the press conference and the build up for this fight. The JRE podcast Joe Rogan was talking about that how this fight will go between Hamza Chimayev versus Paulo Costa at 185 pounds in the middleweight division of the UFC and winner might face the middleweight champion. It's a great matchup in the middleweight division. Hamza Chimayev is currently undefeated and Paulo Costa has lost against Israel Adesanya and uh, Marvin Vittori. But this fight is going to be fun. So we will take a look what Joe Rogan has to say about this fight. He's big. He's f***ing huge. I remember we saw him backstage yeah. at in florida i think and he just looked giant but the thing is 85 now you go from let's just that's look, a big gap right but but i want you to think about it this okay. way think about colby the mm -hmm. size of colby and then i want you to think that if the next one up from colby is alex pajeda <laughs> That's a big man. That's a so when you're talking about Hamza, if Hamza and Kobe fight, that's a fascinating fight. Yeah. But if Hamza fights someone like Paulo Costa, right? Now you're dealing with a g totally different size right. human. Different. It's a totally different size mm -hmm. human. So Col so yeah, Kobe. So as big as Hamza is, like right. if he can make that 170, and mm -hmm. I don't know that he couldn't have made it. Hmm. You know, the thing is, like, if they can say you look too sick, you yeah. look like shit, but everybody looks like that if they check in on you. If you're going to cut a big a big weight cut, but if they know how to do it, they do it. And right. I don't think he missed weight any other time. Google that. Find out if that's correct, because I do not believe he missed weight. I know he fought Gerald Mearshart at 180 pound, uh, 185 pounds, and he knocked him out in one round. Mm -hmm. He fought Kevin Holland at a catch weight of 180, and the other fights, I believe he made 170. Hmm. Maybe he had one other fight, 185. I think maybe it was his first fight in the UFC. Might have been 185. But what? Oh, he fought that. Uh, um, who was that? Remember, he was talking to Dana. Yes, 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 who, yes, what, yes. What weight was that? Uh, that was 170. Okay, that was the leech, leech right. Leon. Yeah, right. that was that was wild. That I mean, was. you want to talk about like levels above <laughs> when someone can carry you yeah. over to the boss yeah. and then few up talking and talking shit. I kill everyone! Yeah. I kill everyone! <laughs> that, but you're not going to do that to Paulo Costa. That's no. my point. Right. Like, you're talking about a totally different size human right. being. I get it, yeah. Totally different thing. It's like, that gap is too big, in my opinion. I think there's 10 pounds. Yeah. I think it should be 75, 85, yeah. all the way up. Well, 65? Yeah. 75, 85? Yeah, 55, yeah. 65, yeah. 75. It totally makes sense. Yeah. And if you did that, I think you'd have like more reasonable choices that guys would make in, in terms of cutting weight or in terms of you know going up. But ultimately, I really strongly believe that for the health of the fighters and just for the just just to really solidify what the sport has the potential to be, mm -hmm. people should fight at their actual weight. Yeah, their actual weight. That's what I was going to say. So if Haz Hazmat can cut all the way down and Colby is more natural. Is is there an advantage? There's definitely an advantage, but there's no, not wait, an advantage no, no, in terms of endurance, performance. I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah, you're a bigger man, but can you perform? Well, the, it's it's questionable. Two ninety four Abu Dhabi. The main event is Islam Mahachev versus the Charles Oliveira, the rematch for the lightweight title, and Islam Mahachev will be defending his title. And uh, the co-main event is not announced yet but maybe we could see Paulo Costa versus Hamzat as the co-main event. So what do you think of this fight? Who you think will win this fight? Tell your thoughts in the comment section and be sure you subscribe MMA Squad for more latest MMA videos. Thanks for watching.